Let's go. You should always stay focused. It's the finals, baby. It's the finals. Who you got? Huh? Got Miami, Los Angeles, Jimmy Buckets, or LeBron James. Make your picks, man. Get your popcorn because it's gonna be it's gonna be a nice final, man. It's gonna be intense. I think it's gonna I believe that it's gonna go to seven. Real talk. I believe it's gonna go to seven. Nobody's gonna dominate um on one side. I think it's gonna be like tough series, man. Tough series. <laughs> so tomorrow it starts, so hopefully we're gonna have a nice show. On the other side, uh, we have uh, basketball three on three. We started the three on three inside, so we Scotty beat me up inside a gym. Started the three on three. That was the first since since since. So how it felt? It felt nice. It felt good. It was it was a joy to see the guys. Some guys I haven't seen since March. So um, it was it, it was not a full gym, but there was at least 30 people in the gym. So I and you know it's it was a, a bubble basketball concept. So everybody had to stay under one rim and play three on three. So it went well, no problems. Nobody was like mad or irritated because of the, the the covid rules and everything so everything went so, everything went smoothly and i'm happy to be back hopefully well well back is for how long because uh yesterday um the red alert was uh, officially um officially launched like uh here in montreal we uh, it was uh code orange or yellow a couple weeks ago and now it's called red uh, because of the many cases that we have uh, regarding the COVID so a uh, few establishment closed so far um, the community center haven't closed yet I haven't got the confirmation yet so I don't know because tomorrow I'm supposed to be there uh, for uh, day three I don't know if we're gonna be uh, back tomorrow. I haven't got any confirmations yet, but we'll see, guys. I mean, you know, we just, we just have to enjoy what we have until until further notice, right? So, in the meantime, uh, for the three on three, I was uh, blessed playing with uh, one of the greats, my man Zeno. Shout out to my man Zeno. I was blessed to play with Zeno uh, day one. And you'll be able to see how it goes on, on the tape. But just to, to, to make a, a, a quick uh, comparison uh, regarding, you know, different types of players. Because um, I, for myself, I am a gym rat, right? So I love to be, uh, I love to train. I like to be on the court all the time and train, you know. Uh, you know, like the fundamentals, layups, dribble, dr jump, jump shots, inside, outside. And it could take like a hundred shots during my workouts. And all that to, stay my, to keep my mind sharp and be uh, lethal and comfortable on the court. That's what I need to do all the time. If I take three, four days off or even a week off and then go back on the court, I, I won't feel like I could cause some damage or make a difference on the court that's how my mentality is when I approach the game so it's important for me to be there and do my workouts you know constantly and there's other players who they just have that you know it's just in their blood it's just how they they were built to be and this is uh, um, the case for Zeno uh, and you know some other guys that I know, but Zeno is is built like that. He doesn't train much. He doesn't go on the court much and and, and shoot. Every time I have this conversation with him, he's like, "I don't do I don't do as much as you do." You know, I just and I know that if he if he does, he could have been even more dangerous than he is right now. But 
I know certain guys who have that ability. It's just in them, you know. And he knows that guy, you know, like he gets buckets. He makes buckets and he makes it look easy all the time. He looks it looks like, you know, he's just sick in nature. It's easy, you know. He plays for his country, so the man knows what he's doing. I mean, you know, got to give credit where credit is due. The man knows what he's doing. And yes, the man is dangerous when it comes to basketball. You don't want him getting you don't want him to get to get going. He's the type of guy that he's like, don't let the guy gets get getting buckets. If he gets heat heat up and he's hot, you're in trouble. That's the type of guy he is. And sometimes you'd be like, man, just watching play, just watching play, you want to get back in the gym and take like 200 more shots just to make sure you are, you, you you're on your game. That's how I feel most sometimes when I play against him. And it's it's good motivation. I mean, it's good motivation. It's good energy. And, you know, you just go at it and you push hard. That's 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 the type of player he is. And keep in mind that there's a lot of players. It's just a natural gift that they have to just understand the game, play the game, and just always find a way to, 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 to keep it fun in their mind, you know. And that's Zeno for you. And I was playing with one of the greatest, the bad man, Steve-O. You know, I, I, the quote that I have for Steve-O is that uh, you can't stop what you can't see. Too fast, too furious, too quick. And that's Steve-O for you, man. I mean, do the, you know, the first step, always explosive. He he can go wherever he wants to go on any given time and on any, on any even on any given play he just go where he wants to go because he's too fast and the man can shoot. So those are the two partners that I had for day one, and I'm gonna roll the tape, guys, so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. This is day one, three on three inside. Felt good, so uh, I'm going to let it roll, guys. And, 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 and most important, you already know what time it is. Likes, comments, subscribe to the page, guys. If ever you have a question you want to you wanna talk, I'm your guy. It's the Scorpion Academy, guys. We take it all the way.